Hi everyone, welcome to another psdvault.com tutorial. In this video we'll be showing you a couple of different methods for working with layer masks. First of all I just want to show you how to create a basic mask for working between two images. So here we just open up the images and what we're doing here is just grabbing the copy of the flowers and pasting it as a new layer on top of the koala. And at the very bottom there's a little button there called Add Vector Mask. You can see in the layer we're working with it adds a little mask box right next to it. So we need to poke holes in this mask so we can see what's coming through underneath it. So we grab our eraser tool and choose whichever brush we want there. And as you can see we can choose between the size and the hardness of the brush. The hardness meaning is how hard the edge of the brush image is. So for this one we're going with a really 100% hard brush. And adjust the size. So as you can see we're poking holes in this mask. I'm just going to undo a couple of clicks I did then. And I'm going to change it to a soft brush instead and show you what the difference is there. As you can see it's basically like an airbrush tool. Alright, so now we want to turn on the mask information over on the right hand side here. So here we can adjust the density of the mask itself and the feathering of the mask edges. So it gets rid of those hard edges that we put in there with the 100% hardness eraser brush. Instead of starting with a mask that shows none of the underlying layer, we can start by masking the entirety of our current layer and paint only the bits we want. So in the layer menu, if we go to layer mask, we choose hide all. So that's immediately hidden our current layer that we're working with and shown the underneath layer. So we'll choose our paintbrush tool here with a suitable brush head, paying attention to the hardness or otherwise. And we start painting on bits of the mask that we want to have. And we can choose a soft paintbrush tool there as well, obviously. And change the paintbrush head size, whatever is easiest to work with for your project. And you can see on the right hand side there, it's gradually filling in the layer mask thumbnail image with white, white indicating the mask that you're building up. And of course, you can play with the density and feathering there again. Now I'll briefly show you the quick mask tool as well. So just starting with the koala background here, and I want to duplicate that layer. Now over on the left we've got a little quick mask button there. You can just press Q on your keyboard. Now this isn't actually painting red onto the image. This is just painting holes in the mask that we're going to apply in a moment. Using a soft brush in this case. So you press Q again, you can see it's automatically selected the mask and left out the bits that we've painted and you can see in the mask thumbnail there that it's automatically created a mask based upon what we've just done. So now I'll show you the mask clipping tool. So we're just going to be working with our flower image there. We're going to create a new document with a white background and we'll create a new text layer. So the idea of a clipping mask is to have a mask on a layer which will automatically work with the content of the layer just beneath it. So we're just going to select everything from our flower picture there, paste it into a new layer on top of the text layer we just made, right click on this flower layer and choose create clipping mask and you can see automatically that it is now created the mask and clipped it based upon the text on the layer underneath. So if I move the flower layer around, you can see it updating within the portions of the text there. If I move the text layer around, you can see it also updating. But if I select both layers together and move them around, of course, then they're going to both move in tandem. And finally, I'll show you how to create an adjustment mask. So we're working with our flower background there. I'll duplicate that into a new layer. We go up to the layer menu and down to new adjustment layer and we'll choose hue slash saturation here. 
and obviously we're going to be changing the color of the flower. So we choose whichever color we want. Change the other bits and pieces there, make it look however we want it to look. And of course we can poke holes in this mask that we've just done with our eraser tool and a relevant brush head. Obviously that one's too small, make it a bit larger. So make this flower look nice and deep red in the middle and yellow on the outside. I'll go up and do that other flower as well. It's easy as that.